Hey guys, this is Ace Blazer, and this is a 10k uh, Rome versus Rome battle. I'm the Broody Eye, and it's a little bit of an experimental army because uh, I wanted to see what would happen if I had weak infantry and overpowered cavalry, and no archers because uh, I wanted to focus on the, my other units. So here are four Town Watch gold, gold upgrades with some experience. Uh, my general unit, which is Legionary First Cohort, gold, gold, gold. And four Praetorian Cavalry, gold, gold. So, I decided to choose uh, Praetorian Cavalry because they're the best, probably the second best cavalry in the game besides Cataphracts. And this is a 10k battle, so in this kind of a battle, they're pretty much unstoppable. And then I've got my Legionary First Cohort, so it gives the morale boost. The cost efficiency isn't that great, but uh, I thought I'd try it out. And to give my town watch a bit extra, a bit of extra morale. Uh, so my enemy is Charlie, with one legionary cohort and four Praetorian cohorts, one unit of Truari, and for the most part, his uh, cohorts have gold, gold upgrades. He's got uh, two legionary cavalry, gold, no, silver, silver upgrades. So he's focused more on his infantry, and I focus more on my cavalry. This should be an interesting battle. <laughs> Romans usually, uh, of course, focus on their infantry, but uh, I thought this would be an interesting experiment. So I charged my town watch right in. You notice they're in loose formation to soak up some Pila. And I'm hoping that they'll hold the line so it allows my, my cavalry to uh, do some hammer and anvil strikes of some sort. And I don't know, he decides to charge my guys from the front. I'm guessing he wants to overpower my town watch. Thankfully, I've got my morale bonuses, so uh, this should be. Uh, they should hold at least for a bit. Yeah, he, he runs his cavalry right through, and my guys can't do too much damage because they're so weak. So I'm just running my Praetorian cavalry around, trying to catch his cavalry, sort of, and uh, I'm sure my general doesn't engage until well, they're, until they're needed. Because I don't want my general to get caught in a hammer and anvil. So yeah, things aren't looking too good. My town watch are basically disintegrated. And all those dead green bodies on the bottom. And I uh, have to start engaging my general unit. Thankfully I've got hardly any uh I've lost hardly any Praetorian cav. Yeah. You notice in my Rome battles I hardly ever use Praetorian Cav or Urban Course because of my uh contempt. <laughs> let's say for them but uh, I decided you know it's a 10k battle and uh, using town watch I could afford myself some overpowered units I mean you think about it the Parthians have cataphracts and yeah horrible infantry. so there's a little bit of balance here there the Romans there have no weakness it's pretty bad All right. so for the most part my legionary cohort is still intact all my town watch is basically gone I still got a lot of Victorian cavalry though. I'm trying not to let them get bogged down by the infantry. Because I know that that's gonna kill them. Uh, I do have cavalry superiority because uh, his legionary cavalry his legionary cavalry couldn't handle uh, couldn't handle Victorian Cav. Oh, there's still a unit here. Smashing back to my men. Um yeah, so it's just kind of an interesting battle I thought over uh, really powerful infantry versus really powerful cavalry army. Yeah, the town watch are basically useless, but they serve their purpose in the beginning. Mm. I'm just making sure that my my, uh, my general unit doesn't get surrounded by infantry. I don't want them to, to uh, get bogged down. Uh, he's lost all his cavalry, so that gives me perf uh, a clear advantage allowing myself to, uh, to put down hammer and anvil strokes at will. Yeah, I can even take down his Triari with my cavalry, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If I concentrate my, my forces in a local area, it's more than enough. And his Triari too slow to back up his Triari. Have. Lost my general. Away his life 
And now he feeds the carrion birds. And you can see I'm, I'm trying to be very mobile with my cavalry. Two. Do not get let them get uh do not let them fight for too long. Just keep charging, keep charging. Cause that's the only advantage I have over all these Praetorian cohorts. Oh, it was my general. Just couldn't handle it. So all I've got left is my cavalry. And I'm gonna use the, the, the charge mechanic in Rome Total War to full effect. Making sure they're not wasted. And my general comes back so he can be put back into the fight. I know in some ways that this may seem cheap to some people, but uh, I don't know, I, I just think that it's using the troops to their full potential, just to keep on charging. That's what cavalry are for, charging. They'd never be good in melee. Yeah. Using what I've got. Just basically letting them infantry. Again, I, I only tried this out because it was a 10k battle. That'd be fun to experiment. So you see, I'm trying to pick off units one by one by weakening them and applying local force where necessary. I think that if uh, he wanted to survive, he should have probably formed a new box. That would have been the best idea. Because uh, he's leaving his flanks wide open to my men. General starts riding again. Yeah, but uh, in this case, when you have no other support and you only have infantry, definitely form a new box. Or circle or skur, whatever you prefer. Uh, that definitely prevents you from uh, getting flanked. That's only a last uh, last resort, though. Okay, so those Praetorian cohorts can't seem to take it anymore. Running away after all those strikes, just keep surrounding, running away, and surrounding, just circling the enemy, <laughs> making sure that uh, my troops don't get bogged down. Charge! 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 unit left, his general. My general's long dead, and I'm going back to the I'm still alive. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! Well, that was a very close battle. And it's only because of my the, my cavalry superiority, of course, that I won this. Victory. As was intended from the start, this was what the battle was intended to be. But all the same, very interesting. Uh, I had 527 kills, Charlie had 548 kills. So very good game to Charlie for sticking through to the end there. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unique battle.